Hello, I'm Katie Brown, and this is self-reflection number one for seminar in literature. Um, during the course of the semester, we read a series of poems in John Potch's um, God's Poems, The Beauty of Poetry, and The Christian Imagination, as well as um, the idea of what the poem means and why it was written the way it was written. So um, I never really read much about spiritual poetry because um, I have personal values that... Um, and other um uh beliefs that i'm not quite um well with sharing but um after reading these poems i took them as like the aspects of life itself um how i might approach spiritual poetry in the future I have to think about it more critically than emotionally because usually I just say, uh, this poem doesn't sound great for me or I'm not liking it very much or, hey, I like this one. This is really cool. Um, but um, do I usually think about it critically? I want to try and get into that more in the future. I'm not usually great at giving um, criticism based off of um, structure and not emotion. But... um. I think I should have to pay attention to um, the structure more about passion and um, persistence and perseverance. So I'll have to think about more about that on that in the future. Um, there is one. There are two poems I would like to reflect on. Uh, the first one I did for my first um, uh, discussion leading in this class was um, Richard Wilbur's A Measuring Worm. So I took this one as like. Not just, like, talking about the worm itself, but more, like, what the poem is talking about, get, comparing it to the inchworm. Um, talks about caterpillars and maggots for going further, how maggots represent death, because um, over time, the maggots will form based off of, like, the, o the old oils in um, the skin and how it'll eat the flesh. And worms are basically kind of a foreshadowing of what's to come for life um that one i did lead a discussion about and i like this poem because um it was um talking about how we measure life when i think about measuring life i think of um something in greek mythology known as the fates something known as the fates um there are three witches who measure the thread of life spin the thread of life and cut it so it's basically when you're first born, you start to like pull the thread and then you measure how long you've lived and then you cut it for when your life is about to end. Um, so that one I really liked. It's like how we could make a worm like how it is on string. Like you can measure the worm and you can measure the thread and then it'll stop either when the thread is cut or the worm dies. And then the maggots speak, and then the maggots come out, and they eat the flesh. Um, poem number two I want to talk about that I thought was interesting was I once was a child, and how um, structurally, um, the verbiage um, was displayed. Um, in a couple of the pages, it talks about um how the technique is valuable to several professors at school and um, it can become intellectually superior to the writer, which was on page 162 of John Potch's book. So this one I thought was strange because whenever I was reading it, sometimes I would feel like I'm reading the word stuck, but then it was the word struck. So it repeats several times. So I thought that was interesting to me. Um, approaching the readings of the poetry for the rest of the semester um i'll have to think about it more critically and structure wise rather than just emotionally because i tend to go into everything with my heart than in my head most of the time and i don't not, don't know which times i should use my head and when i should use my heart based on critical feedback usually i just go with what my gut says but then i'm like Maybe I should do more research on this poem and why it's written the way it is written. So this is Reflection 1. Thank you for watching.